Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Games. Here are insane secrets about Inquisitor Master. Number 10, Variety. Inquisitor Master has a lot of videos on her channel about roleplay. While she does play Roblox Adopt and Royal High a lot, people have complained that she doesn't play any games in months. Again, a lie. Alex tries out new games all the time, but even then, her most popular videos are from these two specific games. Recently, she tried out Drama Island and Jailbreak. Put it in a request. She'll do it. It's so gorgeous. I know, right? Oh, I wish to have his talent. Number 9, Timid. Because of her petite outlook, people wrongly consider her quiet and timid. Alex is beloved because of her inability to be quiet. She speaks her mind whenever she wants and refuses to be quieted by anyone. She is a strong, independent woman who will not stand to be pushed aside, and it would do well for more people to realize this. Being a woman on the internet is a difficult task in itself, but Alex has the courage to stand up for herself. So, we might have a little bit of rain. Make sure to bring an umbrella. It was really nice meeting you. Number 8, Alex Einstein. If you search up Inquisitor Master, you'll be redirected to Alex Einstein. While the first name is correct, her surname actually is not Einstein, and is simply a nickname she had while still in school. Apparently, she was quite smart, which made her friends refer to her as Einstein, a physicist with one of the more intelligent minds in history. Her real surname isn't known to the general public, probably for privacy reasons. And who knows what he's gonna say? Maybe he'll ask me out. Number 7, Not a Natural Blonde. Everyone thinks Alex isn't a natural blonde because of the exact hue of her hair color, but this is incorrect. She was actually born blonde and hasn't dyed her hair to seem whiter ever since. Her hair color is quite unique, so it makes sense why some people don't believe her. But her baby pictures have confirmed it. It may also be because of the stigma associated with blondes. They're supposed to be airheads and dumb, but Alex doesn't seem like that. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope that doesn't happen! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Number 6, Not the Brightest. Adding on the point 3, after figuring out she's blonde, people went on to believe that she was dumb. That is completely untrue, and if her high school nickname doesn't convince you, the next part will. She was part of the robotics club at school. She would meet up with the other members of the club during free periods and would work together to build a robot. They even went to the New Orleans in a contest, so clearly the girl's pretty smart. I don't think she saw us. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> we, made we did it! Number five, English only. Everyone believes Alex speaks English and only English because she hasn't given us an opportunity to think otherwise. In reality, Alex's first language was actually Spanish, and that's what she spoke at home until beginning kindergarten. Even though she was born and raised in the United States, she wasn't exposed to English until starting school since her mother, father, and siblings never spoke it at home. She's done quite a few challenges videos with her boyfriend about Spanish, but not enough for anyone to suspect she knows it fluently. Be sneaky, be sneaky. Oh! Don't move, don't move, don't move. He said, do we even have a home right now? Number four, does online roleplay only? While a lot of her best videos are roleplay, that doesn't mean she limits roleplay to the screen. Alex is actually a lover of cosplay and has attended numerous conventions dressed up in full character costumes. Her love for Roblox stories came from her passion for cosplay. Not only does she adore it, but she's also incredible at it. We have to put all of our things, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty big. Maybe a nice yard. Number three, the little joker. So Inquisitor Master actually isn't her first ever YouTube channel. She started on the platform with a little joker, on which she posted gory makeup looks and taught people how to do their makeup to look like certain characters. She paid a lot of attention to current movies and television shows, but soon grew bored of it. That is when Inquisitor Master was created. Thankfully for us, the other account hasn't been deleted yet, so you can still check it out. Tell us so we can get it! Oh, you guys have no idea how annoying it is living with all those boys in the Number 2 is Silver Platter. Since Alex comes off so positive on her channel, people have assumed she's lived a very sheltered life growing up. In reality, though, she was severely bullied because of her difficulties in English. Once, the other kids taught her to say a curse word and persuaded her to say it to the teacher. This was very hurtful of them since she got in trouble without even knowing what she did. The bullying went on for years and it was difficult to make friends, so it's a breath of fresh air to see where Alex has ended up. Hey, me child. Um, yeah, that's us. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Number one, Texan through and through. Alex has some strong loving for Texas, considering she lives there, but that wasn't always the case. Her family actually moved to Texas after she graduated high school, so when people say she only loves it because it's all she known, they're wrong. She's only been in Texas for a few years. She does have emotional connection in it though, but when people say she's only talking it up because she's never set foot elsewhere, they're being extremely ignorant. I need bean burritos on my oh. way here. Um, so... Bean burritos. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future.